crazy got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. Out of my way, kid. I got some sorrows to drown. talking to me? Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my unit. Oh, lay off, Ernie. He's kind of cute. You think you can just waltz in here and make a play for another fella's girl? Give me a break. She's not my era. Now you got to insult her? I ought to paste you one right on the... Let him go, Ernie. Jeez, you're a mean drunk. Hey, back off, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here. Excuse me, are you Trixie Trotter? That's what it says on my dressing room door. At least, it would if I had a dressing room. What's a nice guy like you doing with a guy like Tannen? Oh, kid ain't so bad. He just takes some- Hey, Toots. Any chance you could sing that can-can number? The guys really love the way it shows off your, uh, assets. Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> and quit lazing around. I ain't paying you to yak with the drunks. You ain't paying me at all, you bum. What were we talking about again? I really like your voice. Thanks. You should hear me when I ain't so under the weather. You're sick? Oh yeah, sore throat. That's why I'm giving Q-Ball so many extended solos tonight. I kind of wondered about that. Break a leg out there. Thanks. She's supposed to turn on Kid Tannen tonight? Okay, Doc, if you say so. I know you, you're... Parker, Oscar, Danny, Danny Parker, Hill Valley PD. Uh, have we met? Y you look my failure. Nah. Well, stranger, sit down and have a drink on me. I hear you've been having troubles. Troubles? Buddy, nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Want to talk about them? Do, do I? Do I? Yeah, I do. Listen, it all started when this car... Every morning, every evening, ain't we got fun? Not much money, oh, but honey, ain't we got fun? Whoopee! Yeah, now, about those troubles. Oh, I don't want to wallow in misery. I came here to get happy. Hallelujah! In the winter, in the summer, don't we have fun? Would you be drinking so much on duty? Probably not, but this joint ain't open when I'm off duty. Shouldn't you be arresting Tannen? For what? Well, for running a speakeasy, for one thing. Well, I like this speakeasy. So there. Besides, if I arrested him, I'd have to arrest you and me and everyone else in here. And that's just way too much work for one little cop like me. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. I'm supposed to get this guy to arrest Kid Tannen tonight?
Come to me, my melancholy baby. Cuddle up and don't be blue. All your fears are foolish, Betsy. Maybe you know Danny. Dear, you. I'm in love with you. So about those troubles. Every it all started on a... Uh... Uh, June 14th, I was chasing down one of Tannen's boys when this, uh, this car straight out of Buck Rogers popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later, I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub hasn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist. When not one, but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, my gal Betty left me because she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Betty, as in Jennifer's grandma Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Ah, oh, that ship sailed. What the heck with her? I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. You've got a secret? What is it? I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this, I don't think straight. But listen. Yes? I like you. You're my new best friend. <laughs> See you later, Danny. I'll be here. That secret. Oh, yeah, my secret. Well, you're my pal, so I can tell you, but don't let it get out. I've been working for Tannen for over a month now. What? It's true. All I gotta do is look the other way while evidence is getting destroyed or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line, and Tannen makes sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my pay envelope. Great deal, huh? There's nobody near. More with the caressables, lesser with the decibels. No, not a great deal. What's the problem? Ear. People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? What about Artie McFly? Hasn't he been missing for two months? That's true, and all signs point to a tannin job. Oh god, I've made a horrible mistake! I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back! But when she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Come on, Danny, pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad? I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. How's that not so bad? <laughs> you know, drinking that much is really bad for your health. 
What are you, my mother? More like future grandson-in-law. What? Never mind. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. News, it's rage. I'm overflowing. I've asked my doctor and psychiatrist too. They tell me that there's not a thing I can do. There's no consoling and there's no controlling this rage. I'm overflowing with rage. Daytime, nighttime, many time at all. Hey, nice suit. Where'd you get it? Costume shop at the mall. Uh, I, I had it custom made. Yeah? Quality material. Who are you? Where are you from? Name's, uh, Harry Callahan. There's something that I've got to get off my chest. It's rage. I'm overflowing with rage. I'm one of you guys. Don't you recognize me? No. Come on. What's the dough? Spill it or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? Uh, yes? Prove it. You ain't leaving till you show me some boner fides. I've got a little something here that might convince you. Don't even blink. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti. See? To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Looks like little Harry Callahan here really is with the Sacramento boys. You got stones, Pee-wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink. On the house. Matches, put down your gun. You look like a moron. <sighs> Hey, bartender. What'll it be? What are you drawing? Another celebrity caricature. You drew those? Prohibition ain't gonna last forever, bub. I gotta have a skill I can fall back on when all this goes away. Got any tips for getting Parker in the right frame of mind? Well, I ain't no Carl Jung, but uh, I've noticed that when he's boozing it up like he is tonight, Danny Boy's particularly receptive to the lyrical stylings of Miss Trotter. Huh? Yeah, some guys are inspired by great works of art, others get their ideas from lounge singers. Go figure. Thanks for the talk. Next time, order a drink. This ain't no library, you know. He's back. Hey, Edna. Mr. Crockett, what can I do for you? What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again?
Uh, sure. I knew if I waited long enough, somebody would request it. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. It's not too late to redirect and start to care. Don't despise the good and pure. Time to rise up from the sewer. Wash off all that foul manure. Show the world you care. You should care. You should care. What people think of you. Of goals that you could name. Reclaiming your good name is what you ought to do. You should care. You should care. If your reputation is in disrepair, it's not going to hurt you to reclaim your virtue, for you should care. Catchy. You really think so? Yeah, it's uh, got a good hook to it. One needs a good hook if one is fishing for souls. Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? Officer Parker reformed. He has? Really? Uh, soon. Just you wait. Hmm. Do you think I could have a copy of your You Should Care lyrics? I've, uh, got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure. Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight. Uber 28, a chicken in every pot. How's that working out, Herbie? Welcome back, sir. Looks like Parker's still parked. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Do you know Sister Christian? I don't do religious tunes. How about Stairway to Heaven? I sing popular songs, kiddo. You want hymns? Go to a church. You know what you'd sing great? This one song by... Take it up with the piano player. He does the set list. Break a leg out there. Thanks. Hey. Back off, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here. I don't care. It's the lyrics to her song. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? 
Hey, your song seemed to have a big effect on Officer Parker over there. I am humbled and gratified that my musical gifts have fallen upon such receptive ears. You know what you'd sing great? This one song by... Take it up with the piano player. He does the set list. I don't care. What are those? Are they lyrics for one of your songs? I haven't memorized them yet. You were telling me what a great guy Kid is. Yeah, I guess he is a pretty crummy boyfriend. But until my insurance policy checks out, I guess I'm stuck with him. Insurance? Yeah. Look, I may not be the brightest bulb in the marquee, but even I know, you don't break up with a creep-like kid without something to keep him from going all crazy on you. What's this insurance policy all about? Are you kidding? There's only one person I trust with my secrets. But I ain't seen him in weeks. You don't mean... Artie McFly. Artie McFly. You know him? Not as well as I thought. Before he took a powder, Artie was tutoring me in all sorts of stuff. Etiquette, philosophy, accountant. He's a regular renaissance man. He even had one of those smart guy professor's pipes, see? Can I borrow this? Sure. I've been secretly working on my get-out-of-kid card for weeks now, but Artie's the only one I trust to check my work. You can't be too careful when you're dealing with a maniac like Kid, you know. You know what you'd sing great? This one song by... Pick it up with the piano player. He does the set list. Break a leg out there. Thanks. Hey, back off, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here. Bother her while she's singing. <laughs> so don't me. Hey, back and off, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here. Do, I'll cry. Oh, may we, darling, whisper in my ear. There's nobody near. More with the caressables, lesser with the decibels. Whisper in my ear. So no one can hear Hey! Take a hike, squirt! Just whisper, whisper, hey, what? I'll have a drink. What's your poison? Pets, uh, on second thought, forget it. Suit yourself. What can you tell me about Trixie? You trying to put the moves on kids, dame? No way! Good, because if you did, I'd probably be hanging you on the wall of honor. Know what I mean? Talk to you later. Hey, look! A paying customer! Uh, Trixie? Yeah? I happen to see Arthur McFly. Tonight? Uh-huh. How is he? Where's he staying? I didn't manage to find out. If you see him again, tell him I'm looking for him, okay? I could really use his advice in regards to my... you know what. Hey, you can trust me. Come on, what's the dirt you got on Kid? Nix on that! I ain't spilling nothing till I talk with Arthur Mc... Oh, F-L-Y! 
You know what you'd sing great? This one song by... Take it up with the piano player. He does the set list. Break a leg out there. Thanks. Hey, back off, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here. 